let's take a look at why a seventh chord is called a seventh chord and what that seventh note really is. I'm going to show you with the most easier basic scale that we have, and it's a C major scale. And a scale is when you go from one note, this is a C, all the way up to another note, which is also another C, so it's called one octave, and the reason why we call it an octave is because we have eight notes that go line space, line space, all the way up from C to C. And you can do this with any scale. You can go from G to G, F to F, D to D, whatever. And I'm just going to show you the most basic reason why it's called the seventh chord. All right, so when we have our C scale, we're going to build a chord or a triad using the first note, which is a C, the third note, which is the E, notice how I carried it over here, the fifth note, one, three, five, and then we're going to double that on the C, and that's the eighth, right? So that's the octave higher. So a major triad is called a one, three, five, eight. And I'm not going to get into all the theory about minors and diminished and augmented and all that stuff like that. Just major for right now. So a major one, three, five and eight so let me play this for you with the scale with the major triad the one three five and the octave on top okay so that's how it would sound if you were to play it on a piano right now because we have guitar strings and we're playing actually five strings in our chord we're going to play it now with this e added on top because that's what this top string does so we have our c e g c e and it adds more body to the chord that's why guitar chords always sound more full uh, for most of the time than piano chords so now let's listen to this one and then also as the c chord plays with the E on top, the extra third. So we're going to play, first play just the C triad with the octave, and then the C triad with the octave and the third on top of that. And now the added third. Okay, so that's what it sounds like when you play or strum the C chord. Now, if we add the seventh note, what we're going to do is we're going to take the seventh note of that scale, and we're going to add it to, so in this case it's a B, and we add the B. However, what we do for most of the seventh chords in our guitar playing, we can also play what we call major seventh chords, leave the seventh note as it is. But what we like to do in chords is we call dominant seventh. And again, I'm not going to get into all the theory of it, but we lower the seventh note a half step. So instead of having a regular B, we're going to turn it into a B flat. And it depends what kind of scale you have, what you do with the seventh note of that scale. For example, just to confuse you a little more, if I have a G7 chord, I have G, B, D, and then I have the F on top of that, but it's an F sharp in the key signature, and to lower that a half step would be to natural it, so you'd have an F natural. Again, not to confuse you, but as you get into music theory and how it works and all goes together, it'll start to make sense. But let's keep it basic with the C chord, and we're going to add the seventh note on top, which is the B, but we're going to lower it a half step from its original seventh position here, which is a B natural. Now it's going to be a B flat. So again, let me play this major triad with the octave, major triad with the octave, and then, like, if we were to do it on a piano, it would be C, E, G, B flat, and then the octave C on top of that. Listen to these three chords a second. Now we're going to add that lowered seventh. Hear that sound in there? That's a B flat. Okay. And now we're going to put it all together with how it looks and sounds on the guitar. Notice here's the chord. So we have a C. We have the E, but notice the G is gone. It's because on the G string before it was open, and we played an open G, but now we're adding that seventh note, and we do that with the pinky on the G string, but on the third fret, and what that does is it adds that B flat in there instead of the G. 
So we don't have a fifth in there. We add the C. And then most people, like I learned and most people teach, to add that open E string because that's part of the chord in the third above it. And that's fine. Sometimes people will put an X here and just play the four strings in between. I always play the E open and on top. So now let's listen to the majors again, like it is on a piano, and then how it will sound with a guitar. And there you go. And that's what that is. So I hope this didn't confuse you too much with the absence of really getting into how the music theory works and all this stuff. I wanted to show you why they're called a seventh chord.